Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to password protect either your entire website or a subdirectory of your website with basic authentication, assuming you are running an open light speed web server. So if that's something you wanna learn how to do, let's go ahead and get on into the tutorial here. And um, this is my open light speed dashboard. I do have this website, site2.xyz, hosted um, through the Open Lightspeed web server. And what we're going to do is, like I said, enable password protection for the entire website here. Okay. So the way we can do that is to go into our virtual hosts. And like I said, um, this is the WordPress website. If we click on view here and we go over to the security tab, uh, we are going to add something to our realm list. Okay. So click on the plus button over here. And the, the, the realm name it's asking for, you can pick whatever you want. I'm going to call mine protected, P-R-O-T, protected site. And the only, um, the only required piece here is the user database location. And this is, um, it could be any path on your, your website, but I'm going to use this one here, server root, um, under the virtual host, the specific virtual host and an HT password file. And then for the group location, I'm gonna also put something very similar to that down here, the group database location, and I'm gonna save this. So um, because these paths don't exist right now, did I click on save? Click on save, there we go. Um, because these paths don't exist right now, uh, Open Lightspeed is smart enough to create them for us. So you can just click these links to create them and that'll create those files. So now under our realm list, we do have our protected site here. And what we're gonna do is actually open that up and uh, take a look at it. So this is what it looks like. And what we wanna do is add a user to our user database location. So this is gonna be the user username and password that is able to log in um, to this realm. So click on that and add a user here. So the username, it could be whatever, it could be admin. I'm gonna do simple Tony. And then the password, I'll type that in and I'll confirm that. And I will save that user to that realm. So now that we have that all set up, we have our realm, we have our user associated with our realm. If you go onto the, to the context um, tab here, associated with this virtual host still, we wanna add another context here and it, it will be a static, you have a bunch of options here, but we'll keep it as a static content context, click next. And there's a couple things we have to fill out here. So what we're essentially doing is defining where this realm is going to apply on the website. So at this point, if you want it to apply to your whole website, if you want to password protect your whole website, then we want to put slash for the URI. Now, if there's like a special part of your website under a subdirectory that you want to protect, then you can do that here, like um, WP admin or something like that. But just for the sake of this demonstration, we're going to protect the whole website. Okay, so um, we wanna do that. We also want to make sure that this is accessible and this is kind of counterintuitive, but um, by default, the site is accessible if you are part of that, that realm list, okay? So we wanna make sure it's ac accessible. And then down here, let's look for the realms option. Did I pass it? I did pass it. So on here somewhere, here it is, realm. So um, because we created that realm, we can, select it from the drop down menu here and by default all users associated with that realm are going to be um, applied to this context um, and that's okay because we just have one user but if you just want specific users associated with this then you can add them uh, where is that you can add them authorization <clears throat> here in this, this section. So I could explicitly say Tony, but it's understood because I'm part of that realm that I'm gonna be part of that. Um, the authentication name, this is gonna be what shows up when you try to access the website. Uh, I'll say restricted website, and I'll spell that correctly. Okay, and I think that's all we need to do here. There's other options if you wanna fill them out, but at a basic sense, this is what you need. So we'll save that and then we will um, reload the server, the open light speed server, and that looks good. So now if we try to access this website, uh, we won't be able to unless we have the credentials, and I know those credentials because I just checked, changed them or created them, so I'll type in Tony, and I'll, uh, I'm gonna type in a wrong password here, so something like that. It's not gonna let me in, but if I type in the actual credentials, 
I am granted access to the website. So um, that's about it in a nutshell. If you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. Get some other videos about how to do this on Nginx and Apache, same type of basic authentication. So you can check those out too. I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.